Hello everyone, welcome to another session for Know Your Exam series from Shomus Biology. And in this all session of videos, we are going to talk about different exams which are important for your career. And we are talking about the exams date and obviously other important information regarding the exam with the exam pattern. As well as at the end, I always provide exam preparation tips. So stay tuned and watch the video. <laughs> This is Know Your Exam series video about IIT Jam. This is one of the very, very, very famous exam and this exam will help you to crack uh, through uh, the IITs. So it's very important. IIT Jam exam is, uh, it is commenced every February approximately. And it is, uh, it's a form of exam that is required uh, to qualify to get into the PhD and doing PhD work and MSc work in IITs. So it's conducted by, uh, the, there are seven, seven different IITs, uh, any of those seven IITs can conduct this exam. For example, Delhi, Roorkee, Mumbai, Kharagpur, all this among these IITs, uh, they shuffle the name of the IIT to, to conduct this exam every year. Eligibility is basic, it's a bachelor's, uh, like eligibility should be bachelor's degree with 55% aggregate marks. Right, equivalent to PhD with 55% aggregate marks without rounding of the marks obviously for the general candidate and obviously for the CST OBC candidate there's a relaxation of 5% so it's 50% aggregate marks. Uh, this exam is conducted uh, once a year uh, as I told earlier it's conducted in February. The exam structure says it's total of 100 marks okay and uh, the total duration for the exam is 3 hours and this exam mostly conducted through online so it's an online based exam and uh, this exam is for seven separate papers uh, that people can choose uh, to to attain this exam um, namely biological sciences chemistry mathematics geology physics biotechnology mathematical statistics and virtual calculator will be allowed in every single of this exam so that's a good thing because you know there is a lot of numerical questions asked uh, the marking scheme is uh, is also very basic. It's simply all the questions asked there is of multiple choice type, uh, but there are three separate sections: section A, B, and C. Uh, the section A and B are non-numerical, while section C is only solely numerical. So section A is multiple choice type. The question there will be thirty questions. Out of that thirty questions, ten are of one marks. So and 20 are of 2 marks so ultimately you have 10 plus 40 50 marks in group A and the negative marking is always there and the negative marking states that the negative marking for every single one mark question will be one out of three so one third and for a two marks question it will be two third okay so it's pretty bad negative marking so if you have uh, if you made mistake during answering the question that will penalize you badly now comes the uh, section B uh, there is also multiple choice questions and uh, there are this 10 uh, questions out there. So 10 questions, every question of 2 marks, so give us 20 marks. So you have 50 plus 20, 70, 30 marks still left. And this 30 marks is allotted for the, the section C. And you know section C is a very important. It's called the numerical answer type or NAT type questions. It contains 20 questions out of that 20, 10 with 1 mark. So 10 marks and rest of the 10 will be of 2 marks. So 20 plus 10, 30. So here comes the total 100 marks question paper. You have 30 marks, hard and soul questions. Those questions are from mathematics and numerical aptitude type questions. Uh, and not only from uh, the mathematical part, also if you choose life sciences, biological sciences, those will be from numerical questions. Uh, while the section B and A will be basic subjective knowledge type of questions. Regarding the cutoff, uh, the cutoff is not very much high, it's very very less. Actually people may surprise uh, with this term. The cutoff for IIT jam is approximately 33 to 34 percent, it's not more than that. Uh, but the problem here is uh, people make a lot of mistake, that's why they end up uh, not getting into the IITs. And there is a competition because you know most of, many people try to apply because it's IIT obviously so people try to apply for this course. 
but generally the cutoff for general candidates is like 33 34 percent for obc it's 27 to 28 percent for SCST it's almost 16 to 17 percent so you can think uh, for a hundred marks exam if you score approximately let's say uh, say what uh, 60 70 you'll be able to to qualify that exam so that's how easy it is so what is the number of uh, seats the number of seats uh, out there are variable we can't comment on seats from here because you know seats are completely in the in, in, in the hands of uh, the iit j the iit institutes that they're conducting this exam the exam fees uh, you know someone can attend either one paper for the exam or two papers at a time for the exam if you are appearing with one paper for the exam uh, for general candidate uh, and male general or obc or males that the price will be 1500 and for female it will be 750 scst also 750 and the same person appearing for two papers at a time uh, the price for males and obc will be 2100 and scst will be and females will be 1050 that is uh, the exam fees the idea about difficulty is uh, what we can say is IIT jam sounds difficult the reason IIT jam sounds difficult I should explain it uh, towards the camera so that our listeners directly can listen it IIT jam seems difficult because of uh, the structure of the exam because the exam will not ask you flat basic question that students usually answer during their graduation and post graduation time and actually uh, most of the students that are appearing from there they are plus 12 so it's not even graduation type it's plus 12 so going from plus 12 level in the school level you're jumping into iits so it's a huge leap and you know most of the education most of the people fall into this gap that is the problem here because the type of question that you need to attend while you're in the school is uh, is not going to match with the type of or, or status of the question asked in the IIT jam that's the biggest problem so that's why it's always advisable that if if all of you it's tell I'm telling all the students that are listening today and listening actually here in the studio that if you are applying for IIT jam obviously during the plus 10 uh, like during the 10 class 10 as well as plus 12 start of 11 and 12 you should prepare your basics very very strong not only from the textbooks because you know textbooks is not going to help you there you need to go for a little advanced books and also you need to prepare your logical uh, skills and with, as well as the arithmetic aptitude and reasoning you can follow uh, rs agarwal uh, book for uh, reasoning and aptitude those will be good but this is really important that you should start with a better understanding and also you should know till which extent uh, uh, analytical question can be asked that is really really important very important in terms of IIT jam exam so you see it's uh, the cutoff is 66 70 per 70 only out of uh, like sorry it's 30 to like 34 35 is the cutoff out of 100 so it's very very less but the major problem here will be uh, as I told you earlier is uh, the habit you don't have habit to answer that kind of question that is the biggest problem so to solve that problem it's always advisable that you start to solve analytical question from the books and especially try to get uh, as many questions as you can the previous year questions so that you can prepare yourselves and the biggest advantage of this exam will be like the questions if you get last few years question paper you will see that they will ask question from a same region again and again and that's true for any other competitive exam that you're going to attend they are asking similar type of question from same type of topics again and again so you don't need to read everything you don't need to read a to z but you need to read those regions from where they are asking questions prepare those regions strong and stronger that's how you will come out really strong and can appear for the exam with the better marks so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that and obviously share this video as much as you can to the social network so that other people know about the exam before taking it.